Hello there, this is your favorite host, Magna Faith, and of course, this is Magna Faith TV. I'm right here with the moderator of the town hall meeting held in Washington, D.C. at the National Press Center for um, presidential candidate Kingsley Mogalu. So tell me, moderator, what are, what are your names? Amaka Anku. Hi, Amaka. It was nice, you know, sitting there and listening to you um, moderate this amazing um, town hall meeting. I was quite impressed um, by the way that you carried yourself and the questions, you know, and the way that you handled the entire meeting. So tell me, um, what's your relationship with the campaign um, committee for Kingston Magalu? Well, I met before, uh, a couple years ago, um, right after the... Nigeria floated its currency. I organized an event sort of talking about the float and what it meant for the country. Um, and at that point, I reached out to Kei Kimoalu to be on the panel. And that was a few years ago now. We've been in touch since then. And you know, I respect him tremendously as an intellectual and as a thinker and as a thought leader. Um, and so that's that's our relationship. He's you know he's been somebody who um, I exchange thoughts and ideas with, and we we talk about you know what Nigeria is doing, what Nigeria should be doing, and just kind of you know a general exchange of ideas and, and thoughts. And that's the relationship. Right. So um of course we're Magna Fate TV, a female owned media house, two months old, and um based here in the United States of America and you know we're interested especially in Africans in diaspora. Um what more interested or the most interested in night with the Nigerian community, mm. Nigerian immigrant community here in the United States of America. And one of the reasons why we were in inspired to you know come forth um, whenever we got the invitation to the town hall meeting was because we do know that King Simogalu you know he's an intellectual and of course he's um, he's um, he's someone who's very passionate about you know his community um, whether in the diaspora or you know back home um, so tell me personally besides you know your moderating the town hall meeting um, on a political note are you in full support of Kingston Magalo as a candidate. Yeah, well, so let me let me say this. Um, as a Nigerian, I um, I care. I think what Nigeria needs is a full discussion of issues. What Nigeria needs is to really push candidates um, accountability and to push candidates to uh, describe exactly how they will get things done. And I think that what Mohalu brings to the table is precisely the ability to force that kind of conversation, right? And so that's what I'm very excited about. I'm very excited about the prospect of having a real discussion of issues and not just, you know, you, you can call anything an issue. Talking about corruption is an issue. Talking about economy is an issue. But really talking about how do we get those things done. And I hope that somebody like having somebody like him in the campaign would help to encourage that kind of discussion. Do you think corruption is the problem of Nigeria? Do you think what? Do you think corruption is the problem of Nigeria? Oh, personally? there's so many. Uh, there's so many problems. I think corruption is one of the more significant ones. I don't think it's the only one. I think. Every, frankly, you can find corruption everywhere in the world. I was just about to So it's not, I wouldn't say it's the, it's the problem. There's so many more. It's, it's just the, you know, and, 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 and I don't think it's only poor leadership. I think that, frankly, the, the break in the social contracts between the government and the people is probably the biggest problem because we don't have any kind of accountability. People can do whatever they want. Um, and so... There are just so many problems, but I think I would probably single out the lack of a social con contract and the lack of, an, of accountability as a bigger problem than corruption. Right. I, as Magna Faith, um, and as, as a concerned citizen of Nigeria, I particularly believe that information, lack of information is a problem mm -hmm. of Nigeria because mm -hmm. then we are opportune to, you know, um, get information, you know, at advanced levels. Um, however, to, uh, an average Nigerian somewhere in in a state where, I, for example, the state where I come from, Taraba State, may not have access to internet or Instagram, Facebook, to be able to, you know, um, get the information that they need to make concrete decisions as regards, um, you know, politics and several other issues. Thus, I took it upon myself to, you know, um, 
you know, start a media house where we are, uh, um, you know, in direct relationship with, you know, the everyday Nigerian, you know, and, um, you know, breaking it down, whether in PGN and, you know, um, however way that we can reach them so that they can have information because I personally believe that information is power. So whenever we get m more than 50% of Nigerians informed of, of about their problems and how um, then we can, so what do you think about that? No, I absolutely agree. Information is power and information leads to accountability. Um, of course, there are lots of structural issues that make this a problem, right? Which, some of which we discussed here today, which is poverty, right? right, right. Um, and so that's why the issue, the problems are so multi-layered, but until people are, reach a certain level of social security, issues will matter. Right. Unfortunately, right? right? Until people, you know, the, the core people are, there's so much stomach infrastructure exists because people are hungry and they need to prioritize food today. Mm -hmm. So, so yes, information mm -hmm. is power. And I think that we need to do as much as possible, not just to reach people like you and me, but to reach people on the streets and to figure out a way to explain to them and get their buy-in that yes, you want food today, but we need to start thinking a little bit more forward, a little bit more long term about what does this, what should, what does our actions today mean for our ability to eat tomorrow, not right. just today. Right. Do you think media in Nigeria is manipulated? Hmm. Um, probably, right? Um, I think there, there are very few, there are sort of few owners of medias, but the one thing that I, I will say is that I think there is still a robust discussion in the media in Nigeria. So it might be manipulated, but it's manipulated by enough different forces that you can get kind of, generally you can get a full picture of things if you look at it directly. Right, I want to especially thank you for your time and of course um, your contribution to, you know, moving Nigeria forward because I know of people that are probably sleeping in their beds right now but you're here and you know doing your little bit and that's what Magnafate TV represents. We want Africans, Nigerians, whether in the diaspora or in Nigeria, to be actively involved in ensuring that our great country moves forward. Thank you very much for being on the Magnafate. I want you to say your name again. I want you to let my viewers know what who you are and say hello to my crew. Hi, Amaka Anku and thank you for, for this. This is great. You're